What is up guys, it's Modded Warfare here and welcome back to another episode of JTAG Tutorials. Yep, I'm still doing JTAG Tutorials as long as something new comes out or there's something I feel I need to cover um, or requests, then I will make JTAG Tutorials. So it just hasn't been, this hasn't been a, a JTAG Tutorial in quite a while. So anyway, in this video what I'm going to be showing you guys how to do is how to get custom cover downloading working and how you can basically install custom covers in Aurora for example, if for whatever reason maybe you don't like the cover that Aurora downloaded by default for you and you want to change it for something new, if you want to make your own custom covers you can do that as well and set that as your cover in Aurora. Uh, you can also change the backgrounds as well and screenshots, stuff like that. And also of course if you're missing a cover for whatever reason, for example um, my Aurora or the server for whatever reason isn't recognizing my Modern Warfare 2 could be because it's got a modified um, XEX file might be something to do with it but it's not detecting it so if you're missing covers like this then again you can also go ahead and get a cover for that installed now there's a couple of ways that we're going to do this we're going to do this one using FTP and the other installing manually so even if you have no internet connection on your console whatsoever you can't connect not even to the network so you can't even you know connect through FTP or neighborhood or any of that then I'm going to be showing you how you can basically install covers manually it's a long process if you're going to do if you have lots of games because you have to install them one by one but again it's um, you know at least you can get covers installed if you have no internet connection so Anyway, first things first, uh, we're going to go ahead and show you using the FTP method. Now, what you need to know first of all is you need to know what your FTP, uh, uh, what your FTP login information is. So the first thing you want to do is if you go ahead and press the start button and that'll take you into the settings. Yes, I am still using Aurora's 0.5b. I haven't updated to 0.6b yet because I'm waiting their servers, they're having trouble with their servers or the um, maintenance right now and I don't want to reinstall a whole fresh copy and re-add re everything so uh, basically what you want to do is head to servers, there's FTP, it should be enabled, make sure it is enabled and you'll have a username and password. Now I've changed my username to Xbox and the password's Xbox, I don't know why the password looks uh, like a longer password but it's not, the username and password is Xbox but I just changed that manually so it's the same as freestyle dashes so it wouldn't be confusing. But the default password is Xbox FTP and the default username is Xbox FTP. So yours by default if you haven't changed it will be Xbox FTP and Xbox FTP for the password. And then what you want to do is press the back button and look at your IP address in the top left. Make sure it's valid. If it's not valid, test PC connection on the normal dash until you get a valid IP address. As you can see, I have a valid IP address, so just note that down so that you can connect to it on FTP. Okay, so now we'll just go onto the computer and show you guys what to do from there. Okay, so once you're onto the computer, you want to go ahead and download the Asset Editor version 1.1 or the latest version, whichever that is by the time you're watching this video. And you can go ahead and download it from the real mod scene. This is the initial post, the initial release. And you can go ahead and download it right here. You need to have an account on Real Mod Scene, but it's free. So just go ahead and register and make an account and download the Asset Editor. And once you have done that, you can go ahead and extract it into a folder like I've done. And we'll just run the application. Okay, so once you're on here, if you're going to do the FTP method, then you can connect through FTP on here. So if I just enter that IP address that I had... Uh, on the Xbox and of course it's got the default username and password for you as Xbox FTP and Xbox FTP so if you haven't changed your FTP settings in Aurora then you won't even need to change it. It's entered here for you, you just click connect uh, test connection because I manually changed it to the same as freestyle dashes mine's just Xbox and Xbox, I can test connection and down here it should say connection to Aurora uh, revision and then established so the connection has been established then all you do is you click get available assets and that's going to grab all the games that you have added in um, Aurora so it's got them all added in here so Modern Warfare 3 for example right here so I want to change the Modern Warfare 3 cover to a different cover than its default so in order to do that what I can do straight away is so I can right click and I can say get um, all assets and then that will grab everything that's on here. So we've got all the screenshots, we've got the icons, 
we've got the background image and we've got the box art so let's say I want to change this box art to something else so what I can do is I can head to online assets and then I can either choose Xbox Unity or Xbox.com. So Xbox Unity usually has a bunch of custom covers. So we'll go with Xbox Unity and you can either search for keywords or the title IDs. Okay, let's say I wanna search for keywords uh, being uh, Modern Warfare 3 and search. And what you'll see here is it will go ahead and download the information and it'll all appear here from Xbox Unity. So you just click and there's a cover. Now Unity normally has multiple different covers. So if I select this one here, okay, so that cover's pretty much the same, slightly different. Okay, there we go, that's good. That's completely different. So let's say I wanna set this as my main cover for Modern Warfare 3 now. So all I have to do is if you look in box art slash cover, that shows the current cover. So when you find a cover that you want, you just right click and you say set as cover. And then once you've done that, if you go back to the box art, it will have changed to this new cover. So to actually apply that in Aurora, what you have to do is head back to the FTP assets, head back to Modern Warfare 3, right click on it. And what you can do is you can either save all assets. So if you've changed multiple things, if you've changed the background and you've changed the icons and the screenshots and all that stuff, then you can go ahead and do the entire thing by just right clicking and saying save all assets and that'll save them all. Um, or if you've just changed one thing, like I've just changed the, um, the box art, I haven't changed anything else, then I can just click save box art. And if I do that, then that's it, it's done, it's saved. So I'll show you, before we do that, before I show you that actually applying um, in the actual um, in the actual game we'll go ahead and we'll do Modern Warfare 2 as well so let's go back here because Modern Warfare 2 if you remember I had no cover whatsoever for Modern Warfare 2 so let's right click um, okay so that's a good this is a good example actually because there's no cover there's no assets I can really pull um, from the game there's like last time with Modern Warfare 3 I grabbed all the assets from uh, Modern Warfare 3 in Aurora, but I have no assets for Modern Warfare 2 uh, because it's missing all the assets. So what I can do is I can get custom ones. So if I just head to... Okay, so you just do file, create a new asset file, and then that will wipe that clean. So to do the next one, we're going to do Modern Warfare 2. So let's just search for uh, Modern Warfare 2 on Xbox Unity. And we'll get some stuff here. And let's just go for the default cover because I have no cover, no information. Um, so what we can do is we can right click set that as the cover let's see we also want so this is just covers so if I want all the other information that goes with it like the background and screenshots and stuff like that then I'll actually have to look on xbox.com um, so I can go to xbox.com I can even change the region um, but with xbox.com you're not able to search for a keyword you have to actually know what the title ID is but that's fine because it's right here uh, it says it right here. So we've got 415-60817. Uh, so 60817. So if we head back to online assets, we search for the title ID this time, 415-60817. Search by title ID, and that'll search xbox.com this time instead of Unity. And then we can get stuff like, you know, the banner, the icon, the background image. So we'll right click, set as background. We'll head to the icon, right click, set as icon. Uh, let's see, we've got, obviously we could add screenshots. I'm not gonna do all the screenshots, but that's banner, icon, and background. And we've also got the box art from Unity. So we've got the box art from Unity. We've got the background, the icon, banner preview. I haven't got that. Let's get that banner preview set as banner. So now we've got the banner preview as well. We just didn't do the screenshots because that'll take too long. Okay, so now all we have to do again to get that applied is we just head to FTP assets again, we select Modern Warfare 2, we right click and we of course, um, this time we could just individually save each one but I'll just do all assets because it never had any screenshots in the first place. So even though we haven't entered any screenshots, it's not gonna blank out any screenshots because we never had any in the first place. So that should now have added the covers for Modern Warfare 2 and the background and all of that. So. 
So I'll head back to the console and show you that applying, but don't worry, we'll come back to the computer afterwards and I'll show you how to install them manually if you have no internet connection and you can't use FTP. Okay, so as you can see, we're back on Modern Warfare 3 right now. If we go to details, everything is normal. Uh, let's see, is Modern Warfare 2 still blanked out? So basically, in order for this to refresh, you'd normally, I mean, there might be some way to refresh all artwork or something, I don't know. I just reboot freestyle. Uh, not freestyle dash I just reboot Aurora and everything should change once you reboot so we're going back into Aurora and there's Modern Warfare 2 and that was missing before and it's now here if we go to details we can see the background has been added we can see the banner down at the bottom right has been added and the icon if we go to uh, is it browse yeah if we go to browse the icon is there as well so that is basically how you add it if it's missing. So you can do that through FTP. And then if we look at our Modern Warfare 3, there's Modern Warfare 3. It's got the new, um, it's got the new cover on it that we changed. So that is basically how you can change to custom covers. So once again, I'll go back onto the computer and show you guys how to install this manually if you can't connect on FTP and you have no network connection on your console and you have missing covers because you obviously will if you have no network connection. Okay, so here we are back on the tool. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to reboot it completely so we're not connected to FTP so I can show you how to do this manually if you have no network connection. So if you have no network connection, you're obviously going to need a USB or some, some way that you can manually transfer the files uh, to Aurora. So you're going to need a USB stick. I've got one here that's uh, on FAT32 format. Make sure it's FAT32 format. If it's not, you just right click format, select file system as FAT32 and format it. Obviously, that'll wipe anything that was on that was previously on it. Um, it's this is only this is actually an eight gig USB, but it's malfunctioning and it's you know it's on its last legs. It's only showing two hundred fifty one megs, which should be enough space uh, just for a few assets for um, Aurora. So, okay, so for this example, I'm just going to do World at War um, as an example. So if we look, there's World at War right there. You can see it's uh, it's got the normal cover on there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and again we're going to head to right we're not going to do FTP because we, we have no network connection. Okay so I want to give World at War a different cover and I want to give it a different background. So for the covers I'm going to search on Unity and I'm going to search for um, I suppose WAW for World at War will probably work. Yep. So we can click here, wait for it to load. Well that's the official cover, that's the one that's probably already on. Um, yeah, that's the one that's already on there, so let's look for a different cover. I'm pretty sure with World at War they all look the same, but uh, okay, that's kind of different. So we'll go with this. So we'll go with this one. So we right click, we set as cover, as we do normally. So now it appears in here. And then what we do is, let's see, okay, I want to change the background as well. Okay, so if I want to download a custom background, firstly I need to get the original background. So I head to xbox.com and I need to head to the title ID of the game. So if you don't know what the title ID of the game is, then you can find it by going to xboxunity.net and then searching for the game. So if I search for World at War, it says there is 415-6081C. And you just copy that and paste it in here. Search by title ID. And there we've got all the World at War stuff. So we can get the background, right click, set as background. So now we have it in here as background and what I can do, so I can right click and I can then select new background. Then you just want to go to where the background is located, whatever you know image file that it is that you want to replace. And then you can click open. And I just selected the, um, the what was it, the Dereze poster from World at War as the background. So I'm going to select that. Okay, so we've got our background added right here. So what you're going to want to do is go ahead and also add in an icon and a banner. You want to do everything because what we have to do is save all assets and that's going to overwrite. So for example, if we leave this blank and obviously I already have the World at War's uh, preview image and banner image already on Aurora. If I save all assets and replace it because I haven't selected a preview or a banner preview, it will overwrite the existing ones with blank ones which is not what we want to do. So we want to go ahead and also add in our banner image, set as banner, we want to add our icon, so we'll set as icon. Maybe we want to add a few screenshots. So, you know, add new screenshot, we'll add new screenshot and add new screenshots. So 
Now we've got a couple of screenshots, we've got our background, we've got our icons, all of that stuff, our box art. So now we're ready to save. So what you want to do is go to File and then Save All Assets. And it's going to ask you for the title ID. Now again, if you don't know, I mean, it's, it's back here again. You can just copy it from here. So we're just going to File, Save All Assets, put in our, ti our title ID of the game, click OK. It's going to ask you where to save it. Just select a folder and that should be it. it should save pretty quick so if we head back into this folder you see we've got a bunch of files here so just get rid of this so we've got these files these dot asset files so what you want to do is just put them on a USB stick so I'll just put this whole folder onto this USB okay so now we've got all of our asset files over so again if you have you know Xbox 360 neighborhood connected or anything like that you could manually copy it over or FileZilla but I mean again if you are going to use FTP you might as well just use the built-in one in this tool which works really well so now what we do is we just unplug the USB stick plug it into the console head on to XCX menu or Aurora's file manager or freestyle-s file manager and I'll show you guys what to do from there Okay guys, so I've gone ahead and loaded up XCX menu uh, 1.2. So what I'm gonna do is just go into this folder and copy the first asset file, and then head to HDD1 where my Aurora installation is. So I'm gonna head into Aurora, head into data, and then head into game data. And then in here, you're gonna look for the title ID of the game, which in our case was World at War, which is 4156081C. So I'm gonna head into that folder, and this is where I'm going to copy my assets into. So I'm just going to press Y, paste my assets in here, and just keep doing that. So I'm going to head back to the USB, copy the next asset, head back and paste, confirm to overwrite, and just do this with each one. So second last one, copy and paste. Okay, so that's us replace the assets manually without any network connection. So let's see if that's worked. So we'll head back onto Aurora. There we go. Okay, so let's have a look now. So if we go back to World at War over here, there we go. We can see the cover has changed. And if we go to details, you can see the background image has also changed. And yep, that is the image that we had. And we have manually changed that without any network connectivity. So that is basically how you do that. That is how, and I'm glad I finally made this video because I've had people asking me about how to do this in Freestyle Dash forever. Um, but Aurora, Aurora is the way to go. You, I mean, Freestyle Dash is so outdated now that um, you should really be using Aurora. And this is how you do it in Aurora. You can, you can use the FTP method from inside the asset editor. And of course, you can also manually change the covers. If you have no network connectivity, you can manually change it by copying the assets over using a USB. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video or found the information useful. If you did, go ahead and leave a like. I really do appreciate it. And subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Comment if you have any questions. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Shuffling